Four years after Michael Jordan shared insights about Anthony Edwards, everyone's curiosity was sparked. ESPN insider Tim McMahon dropped a bomb on the Hoop Collective podcast. An NBA scout sees Anthony Edwards as the next Michael Jordan. Calling someone the next MJ is like sacred ground that's reserved for legends like LeBron, Kobe, and D-Wade. Usually, these comparisons end with the young player falling just short. So is the scout just overhyping a talented kid? But wait, Patrick Beverly, who played with superstar James Hart, also sees something special in Anthony. He went as far as telling Edwards he has a shot to be like Michael Jordan. It's crazy, but Pat Bev said it when they were teammates. So maybe he knows something we don't. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video so you don't miss out. Mike told Anthony Edwards, you're younger than I am. You're more athletic. You're bigger than me. Use your body more, create more space, and you'll be unstoppable. When Michael Jordan and the Charlotte Hornets had the third pick in the 2020 draft, MJ knew Anthony was going to be the best player in the class. A more athletic, bigger version of Mike? That's a dangerous combo. Fast forward four years, and Anthony Edwards has more than lived up to being the number one pick in the draft. The comparison is starting to look scary. McMahon wanted to clarify that when he compared Ant-Man to Michael Jordan, he purely meant being a dominant two-way player. That's exactly what Edwards has become. After a decent 2023 campaign, the Timberwolves started this new season scorching hot. In their first six games, they beat the Nuggets and the Celtics, two heavy preseason title favorites. But more importantly, Edwards did not back down from guarding Jason Tatum. This was old school basketball, my best against your best on both sides of the court. He wasn't scared to wrestle Tatum for loose balls, not giving an inch during a close fourth quarter and overtime. During a nail-biting fourth quarter and overtime, Anthony Edwards showcased his defensive prowess. It's a breath of fresh air to see an offensive powerhouse like him also excel on the defensive end, with opponents preferring not to have him guarding them in crunch time. Edwards finished the game with an impressive 38 points, 7 assists, and a win. This season, he's averaging 26 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game all while arguably being the best defensive wing player among all MVP candidates. His defensive presence allows Carl Anthony Towns to focus on scoring and contribute as a big body on defense. The trade for Rudy Gobert, which was initially seen as a franchise-altering disaster, now doesn't look so bad, thanks to Edwards' ability to control the offense and hold his own defensively. However, the comparison to Michael Jordan might be premature. To be considered the next MJ, you need a few rings under your belt. You have to be able to lead your team to championships to claim the GOAT crown, something Edwards hasn't done yet. But is he on the right path? Are you on the right path? If you've already subscribed to our channel, then you definitely are on the right path. If you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Edwards missed the playoffs in his rookie year, which is understandable considering he was only 19 and the Timberwolves had just drafted him as the number one pick. However, by his second season, he was already leading the Timberwolves to the playoffs. This achievement is significant, as the franchise had not made the postseason since 2004, except for a brief stint in 2018, when they had Jimmy Butler for a short time. To be able to carry a historically struggling team with a player like Carl Anthony Towns, who's often criticized, at just 20 years old? That's Jordan-esque. Jordan made the playoffs in his first three seasons, including his rookie year, but it's worth noting that back then, the league had 23 teams, with 16 making the playoffs. This means 70% of the league made the playoffs, so the achievement is somewhat lessened. Jordan's Bulls didn't have a winning record until his fourth season, when they finished with 50 wins and he won his first playoff series. Edwards finds himself in a similar position right now. If he starts leading his team through deep playoff runs, the Jordan comparison might start to make more sense. He's already shown glimpses of his potential in the first round, averaging a career-high 28 points in those 11 games proving that he has a fierce competitive spirit within him. This is precisely why the Jordan comparison seems legit. Michael Jordan's secret isn't just his shooting, defense, or ball handling. It's his unmatched competitive drive. Whether he's gambling on cards, dominating on the golf course, or excelling at anything competitive, Jordan's relentless will to win sets him apart. Some even speculate that Anthony Edwards might be more like MJ's offspring than Jimmy Butler, but let's not get carried away. Consider Jordan's famous quote about his competitive nature. Edwards has shown flashes of this same fire, like when he got feisty against Tatum in a close game. 
Despite initial doubts after his rookie season, where people questioned if he was the right number one pick, Edwards has dedicated himself to improving his game over the last three years. In 2020, amid the chaos of a pandemic, March Madness was cancelled, leaving many unsure about the top pick. While some favored LaMelo Ball for his pro experience in Australia and family pedigree, Charlotte, owned by Jordan, picked third. Jordan, however, had his eye on Edwards all along, believing he was the draft's best player. Steve Kerr, though, had doubts about Edwards' commitment. He saw the talent, but questioned the drive. Edwards, determined to prove himself, went on to be the first overall pick, two spots before Jordan's team could select him. While LaMelo won Rookie of the Year with his flashy style, Edwards has steadily improved, developing his three-point shot and playmaking skills. This summer, Edwards' transformation was evident during his time with the FIBA team, marking his leap to join the NBA's elite. Unlike some NBA stars, Edwards embraces representing the U.S. internationally, showcasing his dedication to the game. While LaMelo may have had the edge as a rookie, Edwards' fierce competitiveness ensures he will continue to improve and silence the doubters, solidifying his place among the NBA's best. Even with his talent, USA coach Steve Kerr wasn't initially convinced that Anthony Edwards should be one of his starting five. The coaching staff had settled on four starters, but were unsure about the fifth spot. Eventually, they chose Cam Johnson, a decision based on Kerr's observations of Edwards' commitment and drive. Kerr saw similarities between Edwards and Dwayne Wade, who accepted a sixth-man role behind Kobe Bryant on the 2008 Olympic team. When Kerr suggested this to Edwards, he agreed, but inwardly questioned the comparison thinking, none of these other guys are Kobe. This fueled Edwards to hit the gym relentlessly, determined to prove himself. In the end, Edwards earned his spot as a starter, leading Team USA in scoring with 18.9 points per game and ranking in the top 15 in the tournament. On the other hand, Cam Johnson struggled, finishing dead last on Team USA with only 3 points per game on 24% shooting. Kerr's decision to challenge Edwards seemed to ignite his competitive spirit, pushing him to excel. Now, Edwards is on track to become the next NBA superstar, proving that hard work and determination can lead to greatness. We here at Sportivations are also determined to create top quality content for our community. So make sure you subscribe to ensure you never miss out on our latest videos when they drop. Over the past few years, we've witnessed Anthony Edwards' growth, from impressive dunks and big games, to playoff performances where he even managed to steal a game from the eventual champions, a feat LeBron James couldn't accomplish. Now, Edwards is carrying a seemingly average team to new heights. Could they win the title this season? Despite some struggles in finishing close games, which sometimes forces Edwards to take matters into his own hands, there's a sense of disbelief that a team like the Timberwolves could win it all. But history shows us that teams with the right leader can defy expectations. Just think about the Warriors in 2012, the Heat in 2003, or yes, even the Bulls in 1984. Early on, it never seems like a team can overcome the odds, but with the right player, they can. Is Anthony Edwards on his way to becoming the next Michael Jordan? Some say his style and competitive spirit echo the basketball legends. But only time will tell if he can truly reach MJ's level of greatness. As for being the best two-way wing in the league, Edwards is certainly making a case for himself with his impressive scoring and defensive skills. As for the Timberwolves' title chances this year, skeptics might scoff at the idea, but Edwards' emergence as a leader has breathed new life into the team. They've had some struggles in close games, but Edwards has shown a knack for taking over when needed. Can they pull off a championship win? It's a long shot, but with Edwards leading the charge, who's to say they can't defy the odds? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoying the vibe? Join the tribe! Oh, and while I have your attention, Here's another video I thought you might enjoy. All the steal, highlight, oh, the windmill! Anders winding it up, baby. You have to watch this high flying Anthony Edwards. His offhand. Edwards driving. Oh! I do I! Oh, nice bounce pass. Edwards! Edwards to the rim! Defying gravity! Ball game. Uh -uh. Pick it up and stone. 
Two on two fast break. Edwards lays it up in it. Laser pass. McDaniels. No. Oh! Goodness! Climbs the ladder to the rim. Escal and that pass stolen. First deal of the season for Edwards. Oh, Afro Thunder. Finally running over to Edwards. Edwards down the lane. Hammer time. Defensively. Edwards. Oh, my. On his head. Just taking on Elprin Shangun. Edwards. Edwards spinning. Sees the crowd. Kick out. Morris. Going in for DeJounte Murray, who's out with upper respiratory illness right now, is Anthony Edwards, the strength of Ant. Edwards gets set behind the three-point line and catches in the three. How about that? Three points off turnovers. Okay. That is that is rock and roll immortality right there. Edwards, immortality from top of the key. <laughs> Scratch Anthony that, Edwards. it's on Yaka Pertle. Anthony Edwards in isolation. Differences of drop coverage, especially when you have, Ooh. oh my goodness, Anthony Edwards! So want to be more organic. Edwards, hanging, scoring, plus the foul! In the Eastern Conference, he had a block against that narrative. Oh, here we go, take off, whoa! That should be it. Detonation! Battling in the post, sounds, finding a cutting, Edwards, get out the way! Edwards on the drive! It's just, it's just breathtaking. Right to left crossover, gets the contact. And Edwards spinning in the lane. The lay-in drops! Plus the foul! So one of the things during that jump ball situation, these... Conlon over to Edwards. Edwards for three. Boom! Pull up over Morris. Run. Yeah. Edwards off the screen from Towns will hit the three point. Edwards lost the defense. Did a little hesitation on the dribble. Gives it up. Edwards, three seconds. Gonna have to make a play. The pull up over Wiggins. Boom! <laughs> Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards! That time, he does finish! It's the rebound. Edwards with 25 tonight. Edwards with 28 tonight! Wolves back on top. Good steal there by Minnesota. Fifth turnover for the Rockets. Edwards in a crowd. And one up. Minnesota with the 14-4 advantage in paint points. Edwards penetrating, getting up! With Terrence Mann on the drive, stops, pull up, goal. Anderson, Edwards, look at the passing, Alexander Walker. Their defense looks like a saw. Stale by Edwards. Free throw line, jumper is good. <laughs> Exclamation point here at Target Center. Conley for three. Cash for the big man throwdown. Edwards laying it up and in. Edwards, probably as you mentioned, over 26 points a game, five plus rebounds, five assists. McDaniels to Edwards. To this first half, Edwards for three. Oh wow! 2020. He'll drive him, split the double team, shot is up. My goodness. Short, Gobert offensive board, blocked by Jared Allen in the hands of Edwards. Puts it through. Clutch. Fun game here in the Twin Cities. Look at the moves by Edwards. Swashbuckling oh! and slamming. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to make it up as you go. Edwards right here, you know what? The shot's not there. Let me just throw it off the rim. Miscus surgery. Hoping to see him sooner rather than later. Here's Edwards on the drive. Left hand is good. First two. 
He only hit one of seven shots last night. And you can see Minnesota likes the up-tempo pace. Outside look, extra pass. Edwards got a three. It's all it takes. Walks to the scorer's table. Anthony Edwards so quick inside, drives around. They need to execute offensively. One for six so far. Edwards, crossover, spinning, tough fade, pure. Edwards, inside, takes the contact. It tapped out to Conley, leaves it for Edwards for three, bottoms. Edwards, hounded by Craig, behind the back. Sizing him up, step back three, yes sir! <laughs> Edwards, 15 point opening quarter, crossover, driving the contact, bucket, and the foul! A draw a foul there. Edwards got Simmons in the air, penetrates and lays it in. Towns, kick out. Edwards for three. Edwards, step back, three ball, cash. One of games going over 100. Edwards to the rim. But only two field goals after that. Back to Ant, the pump fake, the pull up target. Really difficult for Mikhail Bridges in this game. Edwards, Euro, flips it up. Oh, bucket and the foul. McDaniels to Edwards. Rebound Edwards. Five on the clock. Throws it out. McLaughlin for three. Boom. 12 points in the game. Inside. No one around Anthony Edwards early 0 for 4 and he's missed all three of his threes meanwhile Edwards dripped by Vucevic Caruso turns it over Edwards the easy lay laying it in plus the foul Vucevic for Edwards getting up all the right into the big one there's Reed oh. rebound got an advantage but you gotta watch out behind Edwards Edwards He's been feeling it, using the Gobert screen. Corner three, off the feed from Slobo. Edwards feeling bouncy, oh, beautifully done. White, blocked by Edwards. Edwards, penetrating, and... Kick out, Edwards, the blow by, hanging. The way. Edwards and Holmes and my goodness. Four-point game. Stolen by Edwards. Euro and the by Reed. Edwards penetrating off glass. He squares up. Oh, back door. Edwards, two-hand throw. Edwards clock winding down. The pull up. Bottoms. Carl Anthony Towns, he skips it to Conley, shot clock down to three. Anthony Edwards steps into a three. Conley sizes up the defense, gets it to Edwards, steps into a triple, splash. And it's been a zone, and obviously Edwards wide open, time to check. Or language that really maybe not quite still understood. Yeah. Hard to believe, I know at this point in the season, when you're at game 67. Opportunities for Cat to expand his offensive game with that three-point shot, especially in transition. And Edwards! The explosion to the rim! Who's in Oz from this Little Caesars Arena crowd? We take another look at Edwards. 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 Euro. And the lefty finish! We've got bats flying around. we got Pop Kirsten oh. and... Edwards. And his kick out is stolen by White. Four point game. Stolen by Edwards. Euro and the land. Stolen on the wing by Edwards. Murray tried to get it back. The bounce to McDaniels for the James. 17. The only other player. Edwards. Yes. At the horn. Cloughlin. Struce on the move. Got. Oh! Met at the 